Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to install this wall switch panel and use this wall switch panel with this server and you can see there are many many uh, wall switch and remote so let's firstly we can look at uh, which device is supported by this server part this is the first row is wider solution of the wall switch panel that is momentary you can see this is mechanical version that you can, like this, this button is self-reset but just this button, like use this mouse, uh, just like this so this is the first one and you can see, uh, this is a touch mode this is a touch verse, uh, two gun, four gun, and uh, six gun and uh, eight gun So this also you can see here is the dry contact for the uh, button for the digital input and this is LED indicate and from this uh, output, digital output so that can indicate as LED and these are also have a 12 volt power supply, a 12 volt and ground but uh, this board uh, you cannot need to use the power, power supply 12 volt just the dry contact line because uh, this is a this is a touch this is a touch mode you can see I have connect with this touch mode you can see I can turn on so this is a touch so it need power 12 volts but this not need and you can see I have connect this one uh, to this digital input this is eight channel you can see I can turn on turn on turn on Here is uh, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, until channel 8. So this is the wall switch. And this is the wireless solution. You can see here is the remote. Uh, this is the remote uh, for 6 count. And you can define which key, country, which output. And this is uh, 12 volts. Uh, this is 12 channel remote. And this is 4 channel remote. Uh, you can see uh, 4 channel remote. And this is the Zigbee switch. This is Xiaomi Zigbee switch. This is Xiaomi Zigbee switch. And this is RF as uh, 433 megahertz remote. And you can also see this style. Uh, this is also is a remote. Uh, that is for uh, made by Panasonic. Uh, that can install on the wall. Uh, you can see install on the wall, so that you can get out. And this is some of uh, switch. It's wireless remote, so this also can install on the wall and install uh, this remote on this uh, socket. So this all will be supported uh, by the server. Uh, the server support IF receiver, and if you use this Zigbee uh, switch or Zigbee sensor, you just need to connect with Zigbee dongle, so that can use Zigbee device. So this video, I will show you how to use this wall switch, the wild version wall switch. And in future, I will make a video toy about how to use RF switch and how to use Zigbee switch. Okay, let's look at uh, this is the first, the switch panel. Uh, just uh, this is momentary, a momentary switch. And uh, there are uh, ones, button ones uh, to serve his 868 server's digital input part. So that you can see uh, here is the one. Uh, connect with the digital input. Uh, this is digital input. And you can see here the LED indicates uh, is from server's digital output. So this is HN digital output uh, to this LED indicates. And this two one is 12 volt. Uh, this is 12 volt and this is ground. So I have connect with this uh, 12 volt and this is ground. And uh, you can see this schematic and, uh, for the server and the 8-channel eight, eight uh, switch button version. And if you have another version like 6-gun, uh, 4-gun, and 2-gun, so that you can also use this way, just connect with the K line and the D line with the server board. And this is E16 external module, uh, just e, E16 is this one. So. Let's look at country in the switch panel. Uh, just like this will be very easy. Okay, next step, 
I will tell you what is the different uh, mode of the switch panel. Uh, you can see we can double click function defined for the switch button and the momentary time uh, defined for the switch panel. Before uh, we test it, we can see the Home Assistant application. You can see I turn on and I turn off. Uh, you can see uh, this update. And one, two, update, and this LD, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this time, I press this button on this panel. And also, I can press this button on Home Assistant by mobile phone. Turn off, uh, turn off the 8 channel, turn off, and turn off, and turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Also, I can, I can click this all on. Uh, you can see uh, this is all on, update. And this is all on, and all off. And this is all off. So when I press this button on the panel, uh, this will be updated. Also, when I press this button on this mobile phone, and this will be updated. So this is the update state of the relay output. Okay, let's look at the next. Here we can see the double click function you can define uh, by this website. For example, we can define the key one. Uh, when I double click this key one, that will turn on relay three, four, five, six. When I double click this button, it will be turn off relay three, four, five, six. And this is invert function. Uh, that I can define this key three. That will invert three, four, five, six. The inverter means just the talking, that, that state will be changed, the opposite of the state. So we can define like this uh, key one, double click. We can go to the network setting. Just use your Ethernet uh, IP address logging your web browser. And you can find out, uh, this is for the double click function. You can define, we can enable, enable this for on, that double click on. But which channel is on? We just input uh, this 16 bit of the switch. Because we need to turn on uh, 3, begin 3, 4, 5, 6. So we just need to 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, that is 1, channel 1, channel 2, uh, channel 3, channel 5, channel 6. So which you need to enable, just, just input one. Uh, other channels you not need to enable, just disable, you just input zero. So that will be, because we have 16 channels totally. So we can define this one, and the double click two, uh, you can just turn off, you can see. I can turn off uh, this one. Also, I can copy this and paste. Because this is enabled for off, uh, just this one is enabled. And the three also is invert for this. So I can click invert and copy and paste uh, this three one. Now I can press C. So we can log again. Wait for a moment. Logging. And this is our setting. And this is the website. Uh, we can turn on and turn off by the website. And let let us uh, let's test it. You can see I, when I press this key, uh, this is turn on relay really one and press again, it turn off the one. That is one click. So now I can double click. Uh, you can see, three, four, five, six is on. So, and the Home Assistant application on mobile phone also is updated. And now I can press this button. Uh, this is channel two, on and off by one click. But when I double click, you can see, when I double click, you can see three, four, five, six is off. Okay, 
Now I can press this uh, three. You can see this is turn on uh, three, really, and uh, turn off three, really. When I double click, uh, you can see it turn on this four channel, and double click, you can see it turn off this four channel, and double click again, so it's invert. You can see if I have used my web button to turn on three, four, six. Now is this this state uh, three, four, six is on. You can see I double click. Uh, this three button is invert, and this state is invert. So this define just uh, invert as your last state. You can see I can. Double click, uh, you can see the state, and the double click again, uh, the state or is opposite. So this can define uh, which button is on, off, and which button double click uh, for things mode. Uh, you can you can define many 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 uh, different button for different things mode. So let's look at the next. That is the moment return setting. This also is very useful. We can see the website. We can use relief 4 and relief 5 to find different uh, moment return. You can see here is the option. This release setting have moment return. That is 16 channel output independently you can set. We can see we can let uh, relief 5 and relief 4 is enabled. So this one and this one will enable. Then we can press save. After the boot, you can see this white LED is on. So that means it connect to Home Assistant successfully. And we can go to the website. And you can see 4 and 5 channel. Uh, this is uh, button 4 uh, that is controlling the relay output. It is uh, 4 channel. You can see I can press uh, it auto off in 1 second. Press on. One second, out of, and this is five channel five. You can see I can okay. This is five second. So you can set the time of the every dependently button. This is very useful. It marks the part ten thousand of the seconds uh, of every output. So that if you have turned on the power, uh, you forget to turn off. So you can set this time for protect you for safety. And for the timer, also you can use this function set for the time, just uh, every day or every time you turn on the relay, and you not need to uh, turn off, just it will auto turn off. So this is the voluntary time of the switch. OK, uh, this video, we have showed the verse wide version of the switch panel and uh, in future video uh, we will look at how to use the uh, RF and the ZigBee wireless switch uh, for this server bug. Okay, thanks for watching.